County Board of Supervisors is pushing back against a judge's order to keep strip clubs open and restaurants open for indoor dining here in San Diego by voting to appeal. Good evening, I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. The move was made this afternoon. News A's Shannon Handy has more on the board's vote and what it means for businesses that have reopened. The board voted to join the state and appeal the judge's order, but only as it relates to strip clubs and indoor dining. They actually support outdoor dining. Hours before the meeting, Supervisor Nathan Fletcher called that order murky, unclear, and convoluted. Uh, and I think that the judge is fundamentally wrong. Before Friday's emergency board of supervisors meeting, Nathan Fletcher took to social media to explain why he's concerned about a judge's decision to allow both strip clubs and restaurants in San Diego County to reopen. And I think that this has a potential devastating impact at a point at which we are entering our darkest phase and darkest hour. Fletcher said the judge, who claimed county officials did not provide enough evidence to show the spread of COVID-19 is linked to either setting, got it wrong, adding statistics showing where people can track the virus are unreliable. If you get COVID and a case investigator contacts you and they say, where's everywhere you went in the preceding 10 days? How are they supposed to ascribe which one of the 25 different places you went is the one place that you contracted it? Fletcher cited scientific studies, including one by the CDC. Case patients were more likely to have reported dining at a restaurant in an area designated by restaurants, including indoor, patio, and outdoor seating in the weeks preceding. For now, though, the county has halted all enforcement when it comes to restaurant reopenings. Several have taken advantage by opening both outdoor and indoor, which is allowed per the judge's ruling. While some board members like Jim Desmond have applauded the move, Fletcher worries the longer this goes on, the worse things will get. We are seeing record cases. The strain on our health care system is immense, and we have to find a way as a community to get this under control. So what's next? Well, we wait and see what an appeals court decides, the timeline of which is unknown.